Hello, good people. Welcome to Raw Vegan Rising. My name is Shane Sterling. Thank you for clicking on this video. This is maybe the most important topic in the world today, and no one is talking about it. I don't think I've ever seen another human being alive ever talk about this topic. Okay, this is why junk food vegans are no different and no better than meat eaters. Okay, now before I get started, I just would like to say that I've been a vegan since 1990, okay? I've had many years as a junk food vegan, and I've had many years as a healthy vegan, and I've also had many years as a meat eater, all right? So look, I've been on both sides. I see both sides. This is something else that I'm talking about, okay? So as I talk about this, why don't you chime in <clears throat> in the comments and tell me what your thoughts are on this topic. This is why meat, junk food vegans are no different than meat eaters, okay? And it comes down to one simple thing. In the core of our being, we are still violent towards ourselves. When we are violent towards ourselves through what we put in our body every single day and in our thoughts and in our actions, we're ultimately not ever able to escape violence, whether it's toward animals or humans or the homeless or children or any of it. We are part of the big system of violence that oppresses our world. We can't go out into the world to solve the problems of the world when we are in chaos and violence ourselves. We can't save the animals when we are violent to ourselves every single day. That systemic violence starts with what we put in our body, okay? When we cook our food, we are creating violence. Cooked food is the root cause of all of humanity's problems. Every problem we face today stems from cooking our food because it is an act of violence. And when we put that violence in our body, we are creating chaos. <clears throat> Now, if we go out into the world from that place of violence, we're just martyring ourselves. We're saying that I'm going to help save the animals, but ultimately we're just a martyr. We're self-sacrificing because we don't have anything to truly give. And that's creating a lose-lose situation. We can't mistake a lose-lose situation for something positive. It's not. It's lose-lose for the animals, lose-lose for the humans, lose-lose for you. Ultimately, to create a win-win situation, we have to learn how to tap in to our own eternal supply, the divine connection that makes us feel the in divine intelligence. Okay, connection is what makes us feel uh, and know true knowledge and intelligence. All right, so when we are striving to act in a way that is loving to ourselves, putting energy and vibrancy into every intention and action we give towards ourselves. That's where we lift ourselves up. We create a connection that then allows us to give from a truly sustainable place. That's how we create win-win. Giving from a sustainable place of abundance, of overflow, of energy and vibrancy and beauty and joy and connection and peace. That can only come when we stop the violence towards ourselves, okay? Violence towards ourselves is negative self-talk, abusing our body with food, okay? Having the same problems that meat eaters have, low self-esteem, low um, self-worth, you know, diabetes and um, obesity and health problems. You know, we're, if we're struggling with all the same problems, we're not lifting ourselves up out of the problem. We can't fight the problem with the same level of thinking that created the problem. That's like trying to fight fire with fire. You know, Albert Einstein has that great quote that we can't solve our problems with the same thinking that we use to create them. Obviously, we have to lift ourselves up out of that problem. And we do that through nonviolence. We do that through taking only living food into our body. Because when we put the living food in our body, we feel the connection. We feel the divine light of all creation flowing through us. It's not that raw food makes us more spiritual. It's not that raw food makes us better than anyone else. Food in general doesn't make us better than anyone else. But raw food is going to allow us to feel the connectedness of all things. And that's where the divine springs from. That's the wellspring of where it all springs from. Then we have something to give. That's where we need to give from a place of loving ourselves at the highest place possible. This is a divine temple that we've been given. We can't put cooked denatured foods, hamburger buns and veggie burgers in here and think that, that we are saving anyone. That's not how it works. We have to put true truth, 
in here. And that's what's going to resonate out and offer truth to someone else. So if ultimately, if we are a junk food vegan with good intentions to help animals and to save animals, but we're eating junk food, ultimately that violence will come out eventually. It'll come out in one way or another. We will go back to eating animals at some point. We won't be able to resist it because it's just the perpetuation of violence. You know, the violence will continue. And if we're not violent toward animals, we'll be violent toward our loved ones or our children or some version in the world where we're perpetuating the violence, we're keeping it in the status quo. If you truly want to stop the violence against animals, you got to stop the violence against yourself and get up out of the matrix, the whole paradigm of control, you know? But look, it's not anyone's fault. It's not your fault. We're born into this system, this matrix system of control. It's violent, it's dominating, and it's exploiting of us and animals, okay? We're exploited, we are exploiting, it's all self-perpetuating. So until we realize that the problem is out there, we can team up against this problem. We have to team up against the system that we're born into that oppresses us. We need to eat the raw living foods. We need to get off the junk food and stop the problem to get, you know, to solve the problem from a different level of thinking, you know, like a genius would think, you know, to get up out of the same level of problem, which means we stop eating cooked food. You know, when we get on the health foods, the raw living foods, you know, fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds, the foods that are grown in the sun, the foods that have living life force in them are going to give our body the life force we need to feel that divine connection and get on track and get on purpose and truly help the animals and truly help the humans and the homeless and the children around the world and the genocide that's happening around the world. You know, we're all in this together. So ultimately, when you team up with me, we can create this, we can solve this problem. We all have to team up and it, we do it through community. You know, we do it through coming together subversively. It's not out in the world. We can't just go be activists. There's too much oppression. We have to come together silently behind closed doors and talk about the real solution, which is what we put in our mouth every single day. This is where it starts, what we put in our mouth. Okay, so we need to help each other behind closed doors, silently, secretly, methodically, day by day going after this, helping people become raw vegan, helping people get off of these addictive problem foods that create violence in our mind and violence in our world. So the way I have set this up is my group coaching program called Raw Vegan Heroes. Okay, this is a Facebook group. I'm the coach in there. There's uh, other members. There's about 130 members as of today when I'm making this video. People from all over the world. And these aren't people who are you know, perfect vegans. These are people who are understanding this awakening that I'm talking about and want to come together and try to learn, you know, try to learn how to become a vegan. I just had a gentleman join today who is pre-diabetic. He's almost 40 years old. He is just learning about raw foods, but he's still eating meat and he doesn't want to be. He's pre-diabetic. He's coming to the group and the membership to learn how to be vegan. He doesn't even have any idea, but we're going to do it together, you know, because this is what I'm committed to. This is how I'm helping to solve the problem. And um, it's, a, it's a really huge problem because this level of violence and this invisible ideology of our food is so ingrained that no one ever even realizes that putting a veggie burger in their mouth is violent and perpetuates the abuse of animals. But this is what I'm talking about. So you guys tell me what you think about what I'm saying. Are we going to really change you know, the world by being violent towards ourselves with cooked food? Or do we really need to get off of the violence completely? So tell me what you think. Share with me, please. I really appreciate it. Just so you know, there is a link in the description for Raw Vegan Heroes, which is my group coaching program, okay? It's $14.99 a month, and there's no contract. You can join, try it out, and see if it's going to help you and serve you on this amazing journey of awakening, okay? I know this is a big topic. I've been wanting to say this for a while. I really, truly believe it in the core of my being, and this is ultimately just a service message. It's hard to say, there's a lot of components to it, but I think it's the most important, most pressing topic to talk about in the world today. And if someone isn't talking about this topic, I don't think any of the other topics even matter. None of the politics in the world or the social issues or the social injustices even matter until we address the fact 
of what we are putting in our body every single day. Are we going to be part of the problem or part of the solution? And the solution is, uh, you know, a big oppressive system that we need to get out of. We need to get out of this matrix through choosing raw living foods. That's my message. So I hope you like it. Give it a thumbs up if you like this message, right? And subscribe if you love this message. Subscribe to Raw Vegan Rising, my YouTube channel, okay? Much love to everyone. Blessings to you. I will see you in the next one.